So is the stock market forming a double top? It was not so long ago that I would have only seen stocks reverting towards their highs. After all, literally since the birth of the stocks bull market, I have been iterating the mantra of the greater the deviation from the stock market high, then the greater the buying opportunity presented. Whilst now it's more akin to the greater the rally from the last significant low, then the greater the probability for a sudden reversal lower. So why am I bearish during 2017 when I'd been bullish for nearly eight years? Well, in two words, Donald Trump said in a Russian accent. The Trump reset series of analysis paints a pretty bad picture for the prospects of the United States with fallout across the West of which so far we've only seen a few minor glimpses of what's to come. The delirium inducing America bankrupting con man in the White House looks destined to turn the United States literally into a banana republic. Czar Trump or Emperor Trump with his mantra of unfinanced deep tax cuts. It's not hard to read the writing on the wall for it is painted in debt red. Trump is the straw that breaks the debt camel's back for America's debt trend has been in motion for two decades. Bush fatally wounded America, Obama put America on life support, whilst Trump, the king of debt, appears destined to bury America as the deficit widens and the debt soars well past $20 trillion, far beyond annual GDP. So we have half of America's electorate that see Donald Trump as the emperor without clothes, whilst the other half are in a perpetual state of delirium. Unable to comprehend the inconsistencies, contradictions, in fact lies that the Trump salesman sells to the masses. And then we have the emerging Chinese superpower. The US empire is not going to allow the Chinese empire to displace it without a fight which is strongly suggestive of a full spectrum warfare across all battlefields, economic, cyber and military, where this year's flashpoint is mainly the unfolding US and China proxy war in the Korean Peninsula, one of China emboldening North Korea to threaten the United States regional interests. Put the two forces together and that lends to a great deal of uncertainty for the markets that crave certainty, which is why I remain bearish despite stocks having trended sideways whilst we are all being kept entertained by the President Trump reality show's latest episodes, the latest of which was the sacking of FBI Director Comey in a blatant attempt to hinder FBI investigation into Russia, hacking to help Trump get elected. So who is next? Director of the CIA? And when do the arrests of those who have been sacked start? And how would the CIA respond to that? This is the direction of travel. Trump is taking the US down a path towards becoming a banana republic. And that is the basis of why I'm bearish on stocks. Normally I would take the time to do a full spectrum stock and intermarket analysis were it not for two mega events currently underway. Firstly, Britain's Brexit war against the European Union and secondly, Britain's Brexit general election to be held on June the 8th, which will be my primary focus for the next few weeks. So my stock's bearish expectations remain the same as my March update, despite the Dow rallying back towards near its all-time high and my perception of what has subsequently transpired as the Dow has trended toward its all-time high of 21,200 is that of an unfolding double top price pattern, which means that the downtrend should resume soon and target a trend to roughly what I expected in my last stocks video of March 22nd, i.e. to below 19,000 by mid-August. So I think we're in for a wild stock market ride downwards over the next few months with my expectations for the Dow to trade down 
to first below 20k and then down once more to below 19,000 with support at around 18,750. As for what the Dow does after hitting 18,750, from our present height of Dow 20,900, well, that is very fuzzy to say the least. So please do subscribe for my forthcoming series of intermarket analysis following the June 8th election outcome. That is unless something else big happens on the political arena, such as for instance, Russia imploding as the Bolsheviks overthrow Tsar Putin or if the CIA decides enough is enough and takes out Donald Trump before he sacks the director, deputy director, assistant director, executive director and their seconds and thirds in command.